You asked, I listened, I brought in one of my buddies who's a high handicap golfer. He's gonna be hitting the game improvement irons to see how his list compares to mine. Let's get into it. Okay, Brent, tell me like just a little bit about your golf game. Consistency is a struggle. Um, about a 15, 16 handicap. On a good day, I'll probably shoot in the mid 80s. Most days it's 90s and on the bad days, it's uh, the triple digits, which we don't like. So we're looking at some new clubs. What are you playing right now? I have the TaylorMade M4s. Okay, so some older TaylorMades. Yes. What would you be looking for in a new set of irons? The big left and right misses for sure, and a little bit more spin. So like when I'm actually hitting the ball, what I consider well, they're rolling out a lot. So like I'm getting 15, 20, sometimes 30 yards a roll, and it's really hard to stick a green, obviously, with okay, that. Okay, so, so we can hit something higher, maybe just narrow the dispersion yes. a little bit. Okay, yeah, that'd be ideal. So I got a bunch of clubs for you. So the one that I have in your hand, the audience is asking me a ton about, this is the Wilson DynaPower. So we have everything set up for you in a stiff shaft. Okay. We're gonna get 10 hits of every iron. We're gonna delete your best, delete your worst. Okay. We're filming on a track man. We're using RCT balls. And in Calgary, the elevation, we're at 3,400 feet. So we're gonna take that into consideration just for all of you guys watching at uh, sea level. How far do you normally hit like a seven iron? About 165 if we're hitting it well. Okay, first club's the Dynapower. So a ton of people in the comment sections were asking for the Wilson Dynapower. Reached out, we finally got the Wilson Dynapower. Let's just get hitting it. I'm gonna sure. kinda ask you for your feedback as we get going. So let's just see some hits here. Okay, so first couple hits. What are your first initial thoughts? That's like three swings on it. What are you thinking so far of the Dynapower? Well, I've hit it three different ways, but uh, that's not the club. Um, I don't love the way it looks when I'm looking at it, to be honest with you, like looking down at it. It just doesn't, doesn't. it's not appealing to my eyes. What don't you like about that shape? <laughs> I usually play like a thicker iron, obviously, being like game improvement, but I just, it looks a little bulky on the back. I just don't, yeah, I, I can't really pinpoint it exactly. It just doesn't. It's not appealing to me personally. So when we do rank these clubs, looks definitely come into account. So we're taking a look, obviously, majority of the data, right? Because yep. data speaks volumes. But we also are considering, you know, do I want to look at this club? We'll take price into consideration. Sure. So data isn't everything. Sure. So it's uh, it's okay so far that you don't love the look of it. But why don't we finish the hits and we'll kind of just see the results sure. that you're getting. What do you think of the feel so far up and down the face? I haven't really hit it close to the middle of the face. I keep healing it, but um, when I, I hit, I think two pretty okay ones and it actually felt pretty good. And then sound wise, how do you feel of the sound? I don't love the sound okay. personally. Sounded good. Ah, uh, healing. Healing, healing. Okay, that's so, 10. So what I'll do here, Brent, is I'll take a look at just kind of your averages really quick so we we had it going both ways <laughs> <laughs> as per usual yeah, it, it, yeah. This, this is relatively common with your game would you say yeah oh yeah a absolutely two miss. yeah 100 percent. so what i want to do is i just want to delete the best and the worst so really quick so see this line right here down the middle where uh it's kind of like a dotted line yep checkered line so this is the middle of the fairway so what i'm going to do for this video that i didn't do in the last video is last video was taking distance into account but I'm actually gonna go closest to the center line. Okay. Because let's say it's a par three, if the center line is the pin, that's gonna be the closest to our sure. target line. So this one here that you had was the closest to the center line and it had relatively good distance. So it went 160, almost really close to the center line, right? So I'm actually gonna delete this one as your best. And your worst, I'm thinking this one that was- uh, <laughs> In the water, yeah. Left of the hazard. Yeah. You know, good news is it is still in play, but it was not as far as this one was, sure. and it was a little further left. So we'll delete that guy as your worst, okay? okay. So here's your averages with the Wilson Dynapower. So your average carry is 153 with a rollout up to 165. Sure. You were saying that your typical seven irons like 160-ish? Yeah, I would say, yeah, I, I didn't. Hit, Probably hit, not your best session. No. But we'll no. let the audience know that you are warm. We hit a bunch of clubs yep. before we warmed up. But you're yep. saying this is this is kind of normal to oh, yeah. this version that you'd see, right? Yeah, even with my own clubs. So yeah. let's see, as we get into the other clubs, if anything's getting tighter. Sure. And if you're hitting it further, we'll just, it's really good just to get a baseline, sure. right? So let's start hitting the next club. Cool. 
Okay, Brent, this next club is the TaylorMade Stealth. This was a club that I did not include in the previous video. I had the P790. This Stealth is still current in the TaylorMade lineup. It ranked really high the first time that I tested it, so I'm excited for you to, to hit it. So let's get a couple cool. hits with the, with the Stealth. Take that one. Yeah, every time. So we're a couple hits in. What do you think so far of the looks? It, I really like the look of this one. I couldn't tell you exactly why. It's a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit slimmer. It just is really appealing to my eye. You don't really like the big, fat, chunky game improvement. Dog. No, it looks I don't. More of like a player distance iron. I think so. I think yeah. you're right. Yeah. How does the stealth head feel? Way better. Um, I actually, I'm pulling them a little bit, but it feels way better when I make contact with it. And I, I like the sound a lot more. So does it feel more forgiving than the Wilson? Yes. Yes. Interesting. Sounded good. How do you like this sound? I like the sound way more. It's um, a little bit like more muted. I, th I think the Wilson sounded a little more like tingy. I think you're right. Okay, Brent, that's your 10. Let's take a look uh, sure. really quick at uh, your data here. You're pretty consistent. <laughs> Like shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find the best and the worst. I think compared to the Wilson, did you find more fairways? A few, I think. So yeah, you had four out of your eight, or no, four out of 10, versus the Wilson, you only had two. So maybe a little bit more consistent on the line, but I gotta delete your best and your worst. Sure. Look at this little collection by the line. That's actually really good. We like that. We had a couple of good swings. Right, yeah. that's really good. <laughs> yeah. So this is the one that's closest to the line. So let's delete that guy. So your best one was 172 total, but that you almost had like almost 20 yards of, of rollout. Roll yeah. And that's what you're saying that you don't really love in your game. Correct. So we're gonna delete this guy. And your worst was maybe this cart path. Yeah. Short <laughs> cart path one. <laughs> So let's, uh, <laughs> let's delete that guy. So let's take a look at your new averages and compare those, okay? Okay, Brent, what I do notice is once we delete your best and your worst, your dispersion was definitely tighter with the TaylorMade. Got a little tighter, right? We yep. saw those ones closer to the line. Looking at the averages, you were still swinging the Wilson just a hair faster. You got more carry distance, two yards carry distance and three yards total distance. So it's going a little bit further, but that spin is just way down. Yeah. So remember you talking that you wanted to hit the ball high, land it soft. Yeah. You need to get your spin up just a little bit. Ideal sure. numbers would be like 6,500, even if we can get to 7,000 with a seven iron. You told me earlier that you do typically have pretty low spin. Oh yeah, yeah. So we'll find in the next clubs if anything is gonna just produce higher spin just by changing the, sure. the club head. Okay, cool. so let's try another one. Okay, Brent, this next club is the Titleist T350. This was an iron for me that I actually have relatively high spin with. So I'm interested just to see how that translates into your swing. So sure. why don't we give this guy a couple hits? Cool. Yeah, right there, like first swing. Yeah. We're already up to 6200. That sounded pretty close to this, like center. Was it maybe a little thin? A little thin, yeah. Couple swings in, how do you like looking at the Titleist? I think it's the best looking one so far. They are pretty clean. It's a really nice looking club. And I like the sound of it quite a bit. Sounds good too, how about yeah. the feel so far? I feel like I'm hitting it a little bit higher and a little bit more spin. So far it's my favorite, I don't know if that matters. No, but that, that's what you're seeing sure. here. That might have been your fastest ball speed yet. I think so. It's a big one, Brad. Yeah. Whew. 181, buddy. I like it. Ooh, ah, a little healy. A little higher. Higher for sure. I don't hate that at all. I think you had pretty good dispersion out of that. Yeah, it was a little right, there. but Let's take a look here. it's consistent. Okay, Brett, what I noticed off the bat is that was probably one of your tightest sessions out of yes. the three, right? Yeah. Just looking at the tracers that like, Wilson was a little out there. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor and I, we had a couple, but we're definitely getting it in with the uh, Titleist. My good ones felt a lot better for sure. Oh, yeah. it did, eh? Yeah. You know, it was like the, the feedback on the face? Yeah. Um, I I felt a lot more comfortable swinging it for sure. So I don't know. Obviously, that plays into. Well, let's see how many. Bit, you had one, two, three, four, five, six. So 60%. We'll take that every in the time. fairway. So that's two more than the last one. We haven't even deleted anything yet, right? Sure. So we did have one go in the water, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah. So let's delete that as our worst. And the best, how close did you get to the center line? How about this one here? She was close. Right? Yeah. You had a couple pull, like uh, pulls in the fairway, so those are still good, but yeah. I would say you, little pulley, right? Yep, this one was like smack, almost right close to the line. 
So let's delete that as our best. So we'll compare our new averages here. Ball speed 106. You're super consistent, dude. That's pretty cool. Sure. The spin was actually the lowest. How is that possible? Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. When I was looking at your spin, like you had some, I saw one of your shots, one of your first ones was up to like 6,200. Yeah. Four, four, five, three, we had a couple, three nines. Yeah. That's, so those ones that are three nine are obviously pulling everything down. Yeah. So spin wise, you're actually getting the best, best spin out of the Wilson. Interesting. Right? Hoping you wouldn't say that. Average 157. So you're actually, again, because it was lowest spin, it was going the furthest. And how was your roll? About 13 yards. 13 yards, like super consistent across the board. So sure. I would say, honestly, if, if we were doing a, a full fitting, we could maybe narrow down the shafts, find different shaft combos to kind of just narrow the dispersion. Sure. But so far the heads are actually reacting relatively the same. So this is where it kind of comes into looks, feel, sound, price. Like there's a, a, sure. the other factors in picking clubs. Um, but you told me that this was probably the, the it, best. Club it it felt hit. the best by far. And I was hitting like, it seemed like a little left to right, even though it, but it was consistent, it seemed. Let's keep going. Sure. I'm gonna give you what won my bracket, just to see how that kind of compares to you. Sure. So that club is the Srixon. Let me build that. Sure. Okay, Brandon, I'm excited for you to hit this. This is the Srixon ZX4 Mark II. This won my bracket. So okay. I'm just interested to see how like a mid to high handicapper gets along with it, because I was absolutely loving and smashing this club. So let's see what you think of this. Sure. Another good one. What do you think uh, looking at this one so far? It's probably the most intimidating one for sure of the of the three. I don't want to say too big, too small, but it's a little small than what I'm used to. I'm a little intimidated hitting this guy. So <laughs> it, it does it not look like a game improvement iron? Not for us? to me, really. No, it looks a lot thinner. And that's probably why I really liked it is that I hate looking at like the big fat chunky game yeah. improvement iron. So when it gets some more of like a player category, I prefer it. For sure. But it's interesting to hear that it, it looks intimidating to you. To me it does, yeah, 100%. You're hitting this pretty good. Better, yeah. Oh, bye. Hit hard <laughs> in the middle of the water. Sound and feel wise? When I hit it, I do really like the sound of this one, actually. I just find I'm catching it like, and I think it's maybe just a mental thing, just like a little thin. This one's growing on me a little bit. Okay, let's take a look-see here. I'd like to hit them a little bit more consistent. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh. <laughs> well, we still haven't deleted your best and worst yet, right? So we can still tighten it up. Best right away, this guy right here. Yeah, for sure. Right close to the line, right? Yeah. So we gotta believe that bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy. And your worst. Yes, a little in the water. I mean, this is a, a this is subjective, right? This one is in play on the other fairway. This one's a hazard penalty. So I think we gotta get the one in the water, right? You good with that? Yes. It's like your distance was relatively consistent, sure. right? So if I look at the collection of four over here, this one over here, five. So about 50% of yours were going about the same distance, which is pretty good, sure. right? But <laughs> even having deleted your best and your worst, yeah. you still have a cart path and you still have one way over here. That's so normal, like, that's normal. That is right. normal? Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at your, uh, your average numbers here. Average spin, 4,800 compared to 4,800. So low spin, again, relatively, right? Yep. So you're more in line with the, with the Titleist. Distance, 154 compared to 157, 55, 53. So you're still pretty consistent. Sure. And then 68, like it's amazing. Four different clubs and your carry and your total distance are all within like five yards. I think that's other. good. So there's, yeah. there's not one that's like 15 yards further no. than everything else. So for me, it was like a clear winner. As soon as I hit it, I, I think I hit all 10 in the fairway, remember, which for yeah. me was nuts, right? For you, with it being a game improvement iron, maybe it's just not as forgiving for kind of that mid to high handicapper. So that's interesting to see, right? Yeah, for sure. Like what were your overall feelings? I just wasn't as comfortable swinging it. I think that's the biggest thing. It was growing on me though a little bit. Like when I actually did make contact with the face, uh, I, I did 
I, I, I thought it was a lot better than my initial thoughts, but I do like the look of them, like just looking at them. It's a very nice looking club, but when I stand over the ball, it's a little intimidating for sure. Okay, well, I got a couple more for you, so I'll do another build and uh, we'll hit another one. Sure. Okay, Brent, yes. this is the Cobra Aerojet. When I hit it, it was the lowest spin. So if you're averaging like 4,500 spin <laughs> with irons that I had high spin with, I have no idea what this is gonna do for your spin. Okay. I know that you wanna hit it high and land it soft. In my experience, these are kind of low penetrating balls. Sure. Based on everything I've seen from you, our results have been like the opposite. So this might go high, okay. spin a bunch and sit soft. Cool. Okay, so what are your uh, kind of first thoughts just looking at? I it? hope I hit this one well, cause this is the, my favorite looking one at first glance and like looking at it over the ball, I really hope I hit this one. Off. Okay, well, let's see how it goes. Cool. That was crushed. That was, that was probably yeah. your biggest one yet. I think so, yeah. Oh, how good is that? We like that one. Four feet off the center. That, <laughs> yeah. That's a makeable birdie putt right there. How's this feel so far? I think I'm hitting it harder. It's really comfortable. Um, I like the sound of it. I don't know how it matches up to the other ones, but so far it's my most comfortable swinging. Does it feel like forgiving? It does. I also feel like I'm actually hitting it a little bit more on the center of the face. That's good. But it definitely feels like it's, I think this is my favorite so far. Cool. Yeah. That was hard. Your smash factor's up there too, like one, four, two. That's pretty big. We're hitting it a lot better for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's really good. Another good one. Ah, it's a little right. Okay, Brent, that was a pretty good session. It was nice to hear your feedback that it sounds like you like this club. I do. Um, I felt like I swung it a lot more confidently and I actually hit a few reasonably well, I think, to so, my standards anyway. Something that I was noticing with this session is funny to me because it looked like you were actually hitting it the highest. So like looking at your landing angle <laughs> over here, so with your 10, without deleting the best and the worst yet, your landing angle is coming in at 44 degrees. Strixon was 41, 43 with the Titleist. Stealth was 41, 42. So you were actually landing this the softest. Remember what I yeah. just said? For me, I was landing it the yeah. lowest. It was running out a bunch, but you were able to elevate this ball, have oh. it land soft. Let's find that best and worst so we can actually do a, a pretty good comparison here. And you found the fairway a bunch. like None in the water. None in the water, not on the cart path. This is a good session, Brent. Yeah. I'm thinking your worst, this is where it becomes subjective, right? Because you had a long pull left of the trap and then you had this short one. So I would say if I had a shot out of the rough, I would prefer to hit this I one, would agree. Right? Yeah. So that means the worst is gonna be this guy here, Yeah. right? And your best, how close are we to the center line? How about this one up here? Yeah, or this agree. one up here? This is actually closer to the center line and it went the furthest. Sure. You wanna delete that one? 186, whew, right. We have some big ones here. Okay, now we have our eight selected. Let's go back to our tracer, see everything. That was a relatively good session. I think so. Right? Looking at Strixon was wider. Titleist was pretty tight. So this is actually pretty close comparison to the Titleist. And you really like the Titleist. I like the Titleist. I think I hit this one the best for sure. I just felt comfortable. And landing angle was only one difference. You are actually landing this a little bit uh, higher and softer with the Cobra by one degree. I felt like I hit it a little farther with the Cobra as well. But. So total distance, 176, 168, 170. So it's going the furthest and landing the softest. We don't, we don't hate that. <laughs> That's kind of the combination that we're looking for, right? We still have a couple more irons, cool. but I think we're putting this near the top of your list. Oh, this is number one for sure. Okay, let's. Uh, I think we're gonna go on to the ping. So how about I build the ping for cool. you? Cool. Okay, Brian, the next club we're gonna be hitting is the ping G430. So sure. we're almost done. We got this and one more club to go. Cool. So let's uh, start hitting and see, see uh, what you think. Sure. What's our thoughts so far on kind of look, feel, sound? It kind of gives me like the same like Wilson vibes. I don't love the look of it on the back. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm getting maybe a little stuck, but I'm, I'm pulling this one significantly. Does it look more offset than the other clubs? It does. And, and what's bad for me is uh, I tend to like kind of hood my face a little bit, not purposefully, but it's just something I'm working through and it makes it even worse. Yeah, so the ping, because it does have more offset, would favor a pull. Okay. So if, if you're someone that pulls the ball already, it's like you said, you kind of close the club face unintentionally, it could get exaggerated just the way kind of the ping sets yeah, up. Yeah, I found the, uh, 
like the other ones, I was kind of hitting more a little over left to right, but this one I seem to kind of be consistent in pulling, but. Kind of good. How about the feel? Like how does the face feel? I haven't really hit it, no. I don't love the sound of it. It just sounds a little dead off the club face mm -hmm. to me. I don't want to hate on ping, but I don't particularly love this one okay. right now anyway, so. Oh, we hit a straight one. There's one straight down. We hit a straight, straight one. Down the line. There we go. Sounded good. Ah. That's 10. Okay. That's 10, baby. I hit this one the worst by far. So, this shot tracer session looks a lot different than our previous ones. You didn't, you didn't have one club go right. No. Which is interesting. That's kind of comes down to the offset. So, in all the years that we've played together, you notoriously kind of shut your face. Oh yeah. Right? So, this, so if you're shutting the face at the takeaway and then the offset kind of gets that toe closing I felt even it. more. Yeah, I felt it. But, I, you know, there's, there's kind of pros and cons to this. You took out one side of the golf course. Yeah, I don't hate that. So like a lot of, you know, pro golfers or scratch golfers like myself, I like to take out one side of the yeah. golf course. So if you're taking out one side, at least you know you won't miss right. But <laughs> we were <laughs> kind was... of favoring the water, the yeah. sand trap, the other hole. And you only had really three on the fairway. Yeah. So let's find our worst. Uh, there's a few of them guy there. Here yeah, in the water. probably that guy. And then the best, you had one right paint the line. This guy right here, that was your best. Bye. See how much that changes your tracer. So still obviously pretty far to the left. Yep. Right? Number wise, your landing angle, which is what we've been looking at, right? It was 39, so it was actually the lowest. So, cause you're kind of hitting that pull, pulls will sometimes go a little bit yeah. uh, lower. They'll sometimes roll out farther. So was our total distance, 177 uh, compared to Cobra, which is 176, but Cobra, you're landing is so much uh, higher and softer, right? Down the fairway a lot more. Yeah. Carry wise, you were in that 161. So it was going almost the furthest out of the whole session, but that pull left, it just didn't sound like a club that you kind of got along with. I didn't love it, but I mean, that's not a ping thing. I think that's just a me swinging it thing. Maybe, I don't know. You it know, just. You've hit all these clubs, yeah. right? So like the, the shaft hasn't changed. It's been the sure. same shaft. It's really just kind of comes down to. It was my least favorite. So to be fair, Brent, like the dispersion on this is actually not terrible, okay? So you were super consistent. So the couple things that you could do here, right? Let's say if you want the pings, you could aim a little bit to the right, yeah. right? And kind yeah. of just know that it's gonna come back to the left. But if you don't like looking at it, you don't like the feel yeah. of it, you don't like the sound of it, right? It's like you, you want to enjoy pulling the clubs out of your bag, exactly. right? So yeah. even though we had decent dispersion that we could work with, if it's a club that you don't want to look at, don't want to play, it's, it's not really good at right yeah, I didn't, I didn't love it. I could also fix my golf swing. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a new series that we're going to have to work on. Sure. There's so many things when you set up, I'm like, oh, I would love to just, just adjust this or, yeah. you know, maybe like start with your club squared impact. I know. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys giving me the... The free reins there. Okay, we got one more club. This is the one of my favorites, a cool. lot of people's favorites. This is the Mizuno. Cool. Okay, Brent, this is the Mizuno JPX 923 Hot Metal High Launch. Okay. So this is another club that a lot of people were asking me to bring into one of these reviews. Sure. Because you want to hit the ball a little bit higher, land it softer, this might be a really good option for you. So I have high expectations for this club. Okay. But again, let's uh, let's see how you hit let's it. Let's try to live up to those. That was almost a shank. Just about. What do you think so far? The kind of looks, feel, sound of uh, the Mizuno. I, I really like the club. I haven't hit a whole heck of a lot of like great ones. Maybe I'm a little fatigued, perhaps. I like the sound a lot. I really, really like the look of it. it it's, it's a really nice iron. I'd love to pull this out of my bag. I like it so far. Okay, that's 10. Uh, yeah, that fatigue will get you. Yeah, it will. That was a lot of swings today. It was. I, I like this a lot and I feel like maybe I didn't do it justice, but I did like it. I did really like this club. Okay. Let's look at uh, some numbers here. Looking at just your tracers, like it looked like you were hitting it high, right? It felt like it, yeah. So we had a landing angle, 44 degrees before we delete the two. So it's it's coming in the highest and softest, which is what that's what it should do, right? Being sure. a high launch club. So it was like your best ones were awesome. Yep. So fifty percent of your shots had really tight dispersion, middle of the fairway. Yeah. The other ones, <laughs> you had some pretty 
you know, hot pulls. Oh yeah. Nothing in the water, yeah. which is good. We That's a common water. miss for me is the, is the hellacious pull. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is your worst out of all of these? Uh, they're all pretty bad there. I think it's gotta be something over here. Yeah, I would agree. Over a fairway in a yep. bit. So why don't we take this one as your worst? And your best, look at look at this guy. Man. Yeah, that was good. That's awesome. That's really good. We so like that. We know what you're capable of with this club, right? Absolute mediocrity. That was your last one, so good, <laughs> good on you. Let's go back to our dispersion here with all these. So still, you're still 50%, middle of the fairway, close to the line, sure. and then we have these outliers. So we've kind of consistently been left. Yep. You didn't go right though. We had other clubs that you were hitting. I felt that... like the Titleist, I hit a lot right, or yeah. a little left to right, um, for sure. What is this? This is the Srixon, you went right. That yep. was more of like the player club. Titleist, no. Stealth, you had one to the right. Wilson, Wilson was by far your biggest dispersion, yeah. right? But looking at the Mizuno, I thought you had a pretty decent session. Sure. You're carrying 156, which isn't the longest. It's right in the middle of the pack. Total distance, 167. Again, kind of middle of the pack. I totally get the fatigue. So what we'll do, we'll come up with a real ranking. So give just Brent and I a sec, we're gonna look at the data again. We're gonna take price into consideration sure. too, because that's a you know something that you should be conscious of, as well as looks, feel, sound, all those things. Sure. So just give us a second and we'll come up with Brent's real list and then we'll compare it to my list. Brent, I totally forgot I have one more club for you. I don't know how I forgot this. Callaway sent us their own fitting cart, so it's been in the fitting cart. This sure. is the Callaway Paradigm. Cool. So another game improvement iron from Callaway. It was a club that I kind of had mixed feelings on, but I'm interested to see what your thoughts are. Cool. You haven't gone right in a long time. No. Wow. Wow. That was a really good one. That might've been your best hit of the day. I think you're right. Oh, there she is. What are your thoughts so far? Kind of looks, feel, sound. I really like the look of this club. This is a really nice looking iron. I had a couple good ones with it. I like the sound of it. I like this club. Cool. We like the Callaway so far. It sounds really good. It does. Does it feel forgiving? Like, did you catch that last one clean? I actually thought that was going to go more left than it actually did. And it still went left, but not. It does feel forgiving. It does. Cool. That is a shank. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying, boys. We're trying. That was an absolute cold hard shank room. Yeah, I guess it's not shank proof. Look at that dispersion. Fucking elite athlete. <laughs> uh, I swear it's not as bad. Look, maybe it is. Hey, Brent, how far did you get your seminar? Oh, you're like 195. I swear to God. Here. I swear to you. It's a little left. A little left. <laughs> okay, now you've officially hit every club that I had for you. Perfect. Let's take a look here. So what I saw in your fitting is your best ones were so close to the line. Yeah. Like one, two, practically right on top of the line. Three, four, so 40%. But we had some pretty big variants, yeah. right? We had that big pull left that we're used to, and we actually had some come to the right. Wasn't used to that. Where the Mizuno, we didn't have any go right. Ping was all left. Cobra was kind of right middle sure. fairway-ish, right? Callaway, we did have some big dispersion. So let's find our best and our worst. Our worst is probably this one, a fairway and a half over. Yeah, I would say, yeah. <laughs> and our best, you had one just like sitting on the line. This guy here is just closer than that one. So sure. I'm gonna say this is your best. Now we can look at our averages. So average carries 160 compared to 156, 61, 63, 54. So pretty good carry. Rolling out 15 yards. Landing angle is 41, so that was relatively low. 41 compared to 44, so still like really middle of the pack. It's cool to me to look at all these and just see how similar all these clubs are. This one felt a little hotter when I did hit it. I was like, oh, that felt really good. This one to me, I think actually sounded the best. Out of your whole session, everyone that you hit, even if it was a little bit of a miss hit, Sounded really good. I, I would like, agree with you. I like how this one sound. sounded really well. Okay, now we've officially <laughs> hit all the clubs. Perfect. So Brent and I are gonna come up with kind of a ranking system to find out how these clubs are gonna rank from one being the best and then eight, just not your favorite. Sure. Okay. Okay, so Brent and I went through his list on ranking all of these and it is a lot different than what my list was. <laughs> 
We took price into consideration. We took data into consideration because you can't argue any of the data. So Brent, why don't you kind of just walk us through sure. how you ranked all these clubs? My least favorite was the Wilson Dyna Power. Um, I just did not like the look. I didn't like the sound. I didn't like the club, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. The ping I felt was very similar to the Wilson, except I was just yanking it a fair way over. Didn't enjoy those two um, at all. The Sirixen, I wanted to like it more. It was just very, for a guy like my skill, which is almost none, um, it, it was very intimidating for me standing over. Right. I did not, I wanted to like it more than I did, so that's six. I really wanted to like the TaylorMade Stealth. I play the TaylorMade right now, and I've just been a TaylorMade guy for, I honestly don't know why, but I guess that's marketing for you. I like the sound of it. I like the look of it. I just... It, Let me it, pull up your dispersion sure. here just so we can reference it. So you're... Because I know you really wanted to like the Stealth. I really wanted to like the Stealth. You just didn't find the fairway a lot. Right? No. And there's a pretty big dispersion difference between kind of your furthest and your least furthest. Yeah. So to have that big of a spread, I totally get where you're coming from. Yeah. And I felt very similar about the Callaway. I actually really liked the look of the Callaway Club. That was really nice. It sounded really good. But just compared to my top three, I just it just wasn't there. Okay, so we're down to top three. So we still have Mizuno, Cobra, and Titleist. So how are we gonna rank these three? I am gonna probably put the Titleist in my third spot. And I think it just came down to between that and the Mizuno was actually just the look. I preferred the look of the Mizuno more than the Titleist. I've never been a Titleist guy, but I was pleasantly surprised. They look really good. They I'm look a, really good. I'm a huge good. fan of how they look. Um, and then second was Mizunos. I didn't have my best swing session with those. Maybe I'm a little biased, but I, I really wanted to like them. And I think if I had some time to work with them, they could maybe be my number one. But the clear cut number one for me was Cobra, 100%. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's funny to me that the Aerojet was the best because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I hit them low. They ran out yeah. a bunch. They weren't high and soft, which is what you're looking for. And it was yeah. the complete opposite. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I really appreciate you guys, the viewers, giving us some recommendations to bring in our high handicapper, Brent. <laughs> you did a great job on the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks, Thanks for all you guys that have watched. If you haven't subscribed already, smash subscribe, and we'll check in with you guys next time.